brilliant in Bath that first 20 minutes. Bring that same intensity, that same physicality, that chop focus, and let's turn the ball over and score some tries, boys. Yeah? Let's go. I think it's obviously a new experience for every single player in the squad. Not a lot of guys played in South Africa before. Now obviously a week in South Africa is something new to, to quite a few of us, so I'm no, massively excited. We've had a good week, um, made some memories off the pitch as well, so no, it's um, been a good week. It's very hot out here, we just had a training session in 28, 30 degrees, a uh, bit of a change from what it's like back home at the moment, but no, it's going to be tough, tough for both teams, so no, expecting a, a quick paced game, um, so yeah, I'm no, looking forward to it. It was an experience, can't say I've done anything like it. Yeah, I think it certainly personified everything we're about and um, it was certainly a unique experience uh, and a great one to tick off the bucket list. I don't know if you agree, Nick. Yeah, I agree with that and similar to your personified point, obviously we tackled a couple of sharks out of there We'll be tackling a couple of Natal sharks probably on Saturday, so it works quite well. Um, so yeah, good prep for the weekend, I'd say. Yeah, there were some big ones. Uh, no, no, no great whites today. Um, they don't, you don't tend to find around these parts. I tips. think they were called black tips today. When I was in there, there were about three circling. I think for some lads, there was about between five and seventeen whilst they were in the cage. Yeah, today is an awesome day for us at Quinns as players to come out and uh, visit Live Orphanage to see what they're all about and the difference they make in the community down here. We've come around here to open our minds and our hearts to, to the community in South Africa and hopefully we can make a real difference um, at our time here. They've um, showed us around the village, told us what it's all about and um, yeah, we just had a really good training here on, on their rugby pitch with an amazing view and after this we're going to interact with the kids and share some stories with them and hopefully we get to inspire them as much as they, they inspire us. To hear their stories, it's tough hearing it but it also opens your mind and your heart to see what's happening out there and hopefully off the back of that we, we want to make a bigger difference out there. Yeah, I think it was quite harrowing for a lot of the lads. I think you hear stories but once you hear them it sort of it becomes real when you see these kids and the backgrounds they've come from and, and it makes it a load more personal. So I think to have the, the privilege to hear that today is um, is a really, really special experience for us all today. Their aims to sort of help them uh, gain education and to hopefully restore them back into the community. And then obviously to train here now, and if you look around, you can see all the kids now playing with the coaches and some of the other players. I think it's been a great day for everyone. It gives you crazy perspective. I think just like we think we go through hardships back home, but obviously stuff here is on a whole other level so to experience that, those stories to hear them and to see that kids are still happy that they're still smiling that they're still joyful to play rugby and to see us is, is a massive thing through our platforms as players and as a club we have a massive following and a platform so to raise awareness first of all and second to raise funds so Live Village can keep doing what they're doing hopefully this partnership lives on um, for a long time going forward with the Heineken Cup and we, as we continue to play South African teams in the forward, we can do more visits and contribute more in the future. Up the back from Esther Hazen, they're going wide quickly for David and surely Bassett can get in here.
They can surely run it into the corner. It'll be a second try for Josh Bassett. Chase, boys! Work, boys! Work, boys! Work! Come on! Bosch and uh, the... Gotcha. And this is a magnificent score from Chamberlain. Wonderful line from Sikamuza Rache. And that should be enough for the Sharks. We've got to be better in those closing stages, but ultimately it was the 60 minutes before that that cost us. We can't let the game get away from us and then chase it every time. To play against a team with Springboks littered all across the, all across the park is a brilliant experience and one I'll never forget being in a stadium like this. It's been, it's been absolutely unreal, but like I said, we're, we're so disappointed because we could have come here and we could have got five points today. Two, three,